In Northern Virginia this morning, school leaders want your input about keeping students safe. Weapons detector scanners have been up and running in some Alexandria schools for nearly a year now, and there were mixed reactions when they were first installed. But today is the last chance for you to weigh in on that future of that pilot program. And Marcella Robertson is live outside of Alexandria City High School with the latest. Good morning. Allison, good morning. Well, those uh, weapon scanners, they are here in Alexandria City High School in all of the high schools and middle schools in Alexandria right now. And uh, school leaders want to hear from parents, from students about uh, this technology. Do they feel like they want it to stay? Do they want it to see it expanded? Or is this something that the school district should move on from? Now, that survey is open until tonight, 11.59 tonight. Uh, you can weigh in, share your thoughts and, and your feedback uh, with school officials there. Now, these weapon scanners, uh, they use artificial intelligence to detect weapons like knives and guns. Uh, of course, when we're talking about the safety in schools and keeping weapons out of building, uh, a lot of community interest in this. And last year, before this pilot program uh, was even approved, 4,400 people weighed in on a survey. 85% uh, were in favor of the screening technology, according to ACPS. Uh, and 60% say they even wanted to see it in all schools, even at the elementary level. Uh, but again, and for now, right now, the focus is on getting that feedback uh, from the community to see what the next steps are for this. OK, and Marcella, these detectors have been in for almost a year now. Do we have any idea how effective they've been? Yeah, Allison, I mean, the, the latest data released just a few weeks ago shows that uh, in the first semester of this current school year that those uh, scanners and detectors uh, found five weapons. In comparison, when you look at the numbers before this pilot program was even in place, uh, the last or second school, second semester of last school year, again, before all of this, there were 17 weapons found after they had already made it into the building, so either reported or found by a staff member or, or during a fight. So that is a 71% decrease. Obviously, uh, this is the trend and direction that school officials say they want this to go, but they say it's also important to consider some of the other safety changes that they have made uh, over the last year and a half or so. Uh, that includes uh, more security on campus and, and changing some of the protocols uh, in day to day. So uh, they want people to consider that maybe that plays a role as well. Again, that survey open until 11:59 tonight. You can fill that out on ACPS's website. Uh, as far as the next steps, the results from that survey uh, will go into the decision and, and consideration when this is brought before the school board again, and they make their final decision about the future of this. Back to you. All right, Marcella, thank you.